your screen suddenly turns blue strange codes a sad face and your pc crashes without warning that's the blue screen of death and it's terrifying but what if i told you you could fix it yourself in minutes today i'm going to show you two advanced method to fix the blue screen of death but i strongly recommend you to trying the basic methods first because most of the time they are enough to solve the problem so first let's quickly understand why bsod happens a bsod is windows going into self preservation mode it shuts everything down to avoid system wide damage this happens when a driver crashes the kernel a bad update corrupt system files or hardware like ram or ssd malfunctions so let's get into it Before any fix, get into safe mode. This boots Windows with only essential files. To get there, force restart your PC three times. Windows will enter automatic repair. Now here click advanced options. Click troubleshoot. Then advanced options. Then click startup settings. After that restart your PC. Now press F4 for save mode. Now you are in. Let's fix the cause. Sometimes, after installing a new update, especially cumulative updates or preview builds, your PC might starting acting weird. This is because not all updates play nicely with your existing drivers or hardware. In some cases, they can trigger a blue screen of death. So if your BSOD started right after an update, here's how to undo it safely. First, go to Windows Search. Type Control Panel. Click on it. Select Program and Features. Now go to View Install Update. Select Update for Microsoft Windows. Now click on uninstall, especially the one installed right before your BSOD began, and click uninstall. Once uninstalled, restart your PC. If the BSOD was caused by a bad update, your system should now boot normally without crashing. Faulty or outdated drivers are one of the most common causes of BSODs. So let's quickly fix them. Open CMD as admin. And type PNPUTIL space forward slash ENUM hyphen drivers and hit enter. This shows all installed drivers. Look for recent ones. To uninstall a bad driver, now type the following command PNPUTIL space forward slash delete hyphen driver space OEM hyphen dot INF space forward slash uninstall space forward slash force. Replace hashtag with the driver number and hit enter. Use this only if you are sure the driver is the issue. Fixing drivers alone solves BSODs for many users, especially after a bad update or new hardware install. Corrupted system files can also cause BSODs. Let's use built-in tools to scan and repair your system files and the Windows image. So first go to Windows Search. Now type CMD. 
click run as administrator now type the command sfc space forward slash scan now then press enter this command scans for corrupted system files and automatically replaces them it might take some time so be patient If SFC doesn't fully fix the issue, run the DISM, Deployment Imaging Service and Management Tool. So here, type this command. DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup image space forward slash restore health. And hit enter. DISM checks the Windows image and fixes issue that SFC can't reach. These tools can fix many file related issues that cause BSODs. If DISM found any system integrity violation, then here's a detailed tutorial on how to fix it. If this didn't solve it, let's move on to something deeper. Now let's fix the blue screen by restoring your Windows registry using a hidden backup folder. To begin, we need to access the Windows recovery environment, also known as WinID. This method is for advanced users and should be used when Windows won't boot properly. Press F2, F12 or delete to boot from a Windows installation USB or DVD. Now select your USB drive. Click next. Again click next. Now click on repair my PC and click next. Now choose your keyboard layout. Now click on troubleshoot. Then command prompt. In command prompt enter disk part. And hit enter. Now type list vol and press enter. Look for the drive labeled as Windows installed. Assume your Windows drive is C. Adjust if different in your case. Navigate to the registry backup folder. Now enter cd space forward slash d space c colon backward slash windows backward slash system32 backward slash config and hit enter. Now exit disk part. Type exit and hit enter. Now enter cd space forward slash d space c colon backward slash windows backward slash system32 backward slash config and press enter. Create a backup of your current registry. Type mkdir space backup and then hit enter. Next type copy space asterisk dot asterisk space backup backward slash and hit enter. Check if backups exist. Type dir space c colon backward slash windows backward slash system32 backward slash config backward slash regback and press enter. Now copy the backup registry files to the config folder. Type copy space c colon backward slash windows backward slash system32 backward slash config backward slash regback backward slash asterisk dot asterisk space c colon backward slash windows backward slash system 32 backward slash config and then hit enter now type exit and hit enter back in the main menu now click continue to windows 10 and 11 and your pc should attempt to boot with the restored registry if it still doesn't boot, then try the next and final method. If nothing else has worked so far, this last method might just bring your system back to life without losing your personal files. 
So let's try performing system restore using a bootable USB drive. If you don't have a bootable USB drive, then here's a detailed tutorial for you. Insert your Windows 10 or Windows 11 USB drive. Now reboot your PC. And press the boot menu key F12, F2 or Escape depending on your device. Now boot from USB. Then select bootable drive. Now follow the on-screen instructions. Now follow this path, troubleshoot, system restore. This tool rolls your PC back to a previous working state without deleting your personal files. You will see a list of available restore points. These are snapshots of your system taken before certain updates. Look at the date and time carefully. Select the restore point just before your problem started. Click next again after selecting. On the confirmation screen, click finish. Then click yes when it wants. Once started, system restore cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? System restore will begin and may take 10 to 20 minutes. When it's done, you will see a message saying the restore was successful. Once done, your PC will restart and hopefully it's back to normal. If any of these methods worked for you, then let me know in the comments. So that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tech tutorial and fixes. Thank you. Thanks for watching.